multiplying rational numbers. Let's review our rules for multiplying integers. A positive times a positive equals a positive. A positive times a negative equals a negative. A negative times a positive equals a negative. And a negative times a negative equals a positive. We are going to use these same rules when multiplying all rational numbers. Two hikers descend from the summit of a mountain. The summit of a mountain is the top. Angelo's change can be represented by negative 1.2 meters. Tina's change in elevation is three and one half times as great as Angelo's change in elevation. What is Tina's change in elevation? Let's start with Angelo's change. That's negative 1.2 meters. Tina's change is three and one half times as great as that. So let's multiply by three and one half. We have one decimal and one mixed number. So let's make sure all of our rational numbers are in the same form. I'm going to convert the mixed number to decimal form. We have negative 1.2 times three is a whole number. One divided by two is 0.5. Negative 1.2 times 3.5 is negative 4.2. The answer is negative because we have one negative multiplied by one positive. Tina's change in elevation is negative 4.2 meters. Sasha hikes into a canyon. She takes a break at the rest stations every two thirds of a mile she descends. If she started at sea level and has hiked down to the fourth rest station, what is Sasha's elevation now? There is a rest station every two thirds of a mile. Since she is descending or going down, we can represent that with negative two thirds. She has done this four times because she's at the fourth rest station. So let's multiply times four. We have one fraction and one whole number. So let's convert the whole number to a fraction by putting it over one. Now we can multiply straight across. Two times four equals eight. 3 times 1 equals 3. A negative times a positive is a negative. Now let's simplify. 8 divided by 3 equals 2 with 2 thirds left over, and our answer is still negative. Sasha's elevation is now negative 2 and 2 thirds miles. Megan's bank account is charged $9.95 per month for an online newspaper subscription. How could you represent the change in her account balance after three and three-fifths months of charges? So she is charged $9.95 per month. Per means one. So this is the cost for one month. Since she is paying that, we can represent that with a negative 9.95. We're looking for her account balance change in three and three-fifths months. So let's multiply by three and three-fifths. We have one decimal and one mixed number. So let's convert that mixed number to a decimal as well. We have negative 9.95 times three is a whole number. Three divided by five is 0.6. When we multiply these two numbers together, we will get negative 35.82. After the three months of charges, the change in Megan's account balance is negative $35.82. Find the product of negative 0.3 and 11 thirtieths. Product means to multiply. Our two values are negative 0 0.3 and 11 thirtieths. We have one decimal and one fraction, so let's make sure they're in the same form. Let's convert our fraction to a decimal. Negative 0 0.3 times 11 divided by 30 is 0 0.36 repeating. The line is over the six because that's a digit that repeats. Our product will be negative 0.11. It is negative because a negative times a positive is a negative. Find the product of negative 2.5 and negative 7 tenths. The word product indicates multiplication. Our two values are negative 2.5 and negative 7 tenths. We have one decimal and one fraction, so let's make sure they're both in the same form. I'm going to choose to convert the fraction to decimal form. We have negative 2.5 times negative 7 divided by 10 
is 0 0.7. When we multiply these two numbers together, we will get 1.75. Our answer is positive because a negative times a negative equals a positive. Let's review our rules for multiplying rational numbers. A positive times a positive equals a positive. Positive times negative equals negative. Negative times positive equals negative. And negative times negative equals positive.